good early morning guys what's going on thanks for all the views on our cooking video again I'm not a chef but uh, the fact that you guys all watched the fact that it's my number one video in the last 10 videos by like I don't know 700 views in the first 12 hours or whatever however long I uploaded it since and uh, so I'm extremely happy about that and uh, you can bet your bottom dollar that Carol and I will be making more food videos I talked to her about it last night I said I said like everybody's watching this video we got to do more of those and I will over time learn how to cook better I will over time learn how to use a knife better somebody made a comment about your knife skills are scary but I'm not a chef uh, Paul's taught me a few things and I try to remember the certain things and how to do it again it's all about repetition and speed uh, well not speed it's all about repetition and, and muscle memory so like I, I many times when I did the cook and review like people I used to get comments like dude stop asking questions but I'm asking questions for me because I don't know how to cook and hopefully there are people out there that don't know how to cook would also wonder what are you doing with that knife? Like, how are you cutting that so fast? You know, and, and what, how are you holding the knife? And so he explained, you know, you gotta put your two fingers on the blade, hold the handle with the rest so that it doesn't twist. If you just hold the handle, it can twist. So you have to hold the blade with your thumb and index finger and then you just, and you keep, when you're cutting, let's say parsley or whatever, you always keep the blade on the cutting board and you saw and chop at the same time and it's a skill for sure it's like but when you don't do it you're definitely going to show that you don't have knife skills like me i'm not a chef once again uh another person mentioned a comment on that's that's not carnivore and i know and uh after i made it again i was trying to copy paul's recipe and so next the next row so i have another roast another prime rib that I'll do a true carnivore and it'll just be salt because Carol can't have pepper on it and I think Carol Carol had a, uh, quite a few pieces and I think she liked it um, I'll have to ask her again I have to turn left here I'm going to get a Tim Hortons coffee and then the rest of the day is a secret um, so you know if Carol says I don't want any more prime rib, then I will definitely 100% just rub it with salt, rub it with pepper. Somebody said what he does is he cuts the ribs off, salts and peppers it, puts the ribs back on, ties it back up, puts it in the fridge for 24 hours. And I think I'm gonna use that for when I cook the other half of that prime rib that I bought so it was a huge prime rib I guess it was four ribs big maybe five and uh, the guy cut it in half for me because I'm like I don't want to cook that it's too too big it won't number one it won't fit in anything that we have at home and it'll be too much food anyway so just I guess to give you a heads up I uh, last night I took one piece of the I have three pieces, I think, of the prime rib left. I took one piece, weighed it. I think it was like 12 to 13 pounds, uh, 13 pounds, 12 to 13 ounces. And prime rib is approximately 75 calories per ounce. So it turned out that piece I had was about 900. I think it was 900 or 1200 calories. And, uh, and then I added three eggs with uh, 30 grams. This guy, the guy turned left in front of us, but the guy in front of me, he stopped on a green light to turn right because he thought he was gonna hit that guy. Anyway, so, uh, so I think I ate altogether probably like 14 to 1500 calories, which is great because I was down to 200 and three pounds, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I shouldn't be in this lane. 
I need coffee. So I'm very excited about that. But of course today I have to shoot a video which possibly will cost me some poundage and uh, then I'm gonna have to work uh, many more days to get back down to 203. Uh, the closest I've been, the lowest I've been in 30 years, I'm, I think, it's hard to remember 30 years of, of different weights, but for a long, the longest time I was about 212 for a very long time. And then I went all the way up to 236 pounds and I said no more. And um, that's when I started doing the fasting, which helped a lot. I got down, I dropped 34 pounds in about four months doing the intermittent fasting. So I went all the way down to 202 pounds. And then I started making more videos because that was all during COVID. So we we're eating at home every day. I'm gonna go through the drive through so I can talk to you guys. So yesterday when I, you know, I'm glad I weighed the, the meat because it is good to know how much food you're eating, uh, how many calories you're eating. Um, because again, if you eat less than 1200, it messes you up. Don't do it. So I can't, I think this place is 15, 215. 215. Let me turn this down now. It's, it's nice and warm in here. It was like, is it still? Yeah, it's minus one in Innisfil. Come on. The, uh, the, one, the one biggest thing I hate about winter is uh, it covers my watch. It's minus three here right now. So everybody's got jackets on. Everybody's got their heaters on for sure. Anyway, so I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about yesterday's video release. I want to thank every single one of you guys for watching. I love all the comments. Uh, I read a lot of them to Carol and uh, much appreciated for camera, uh, Carol's camera work. Uh, we'll probably in the future uh, flip-flop. So she'll make uh, a meal and then I'll make a meal. If you guys do carnivore, um, please send us your favorite carnivore recipes. We're going to be trying all different kinds of meat and, and then combinations of meat and eggs and fish and, and stuff. Probably not a whole lot of fish for Carol because she's just not into the seafood stuff. So I'll probably be cooking those meals for me. Um, somebody said something about, oh yeah, they said, oh, that's not carnivore. Uh, you can't have this, you can't have that. There are, again, they're strict carnivore. The strict carnivore people are just beef, nothing but beef and salt. That's it. That's strict, strict carnivore. All right, can I get a large black coffee, please? One black coffee, anything else? One large black coffee. That's it. Thank you. No. That speaker is really lame. I remember one time the lady just kept saying something. I had no idea what she was saying. So I couldn't hear her. She couldn't hear me for some reason. And uh, when I got to the to things, they had to kind of retake my order out the window. She goes, what did you want again? I said, is this a large black coffee? I said, I said, your speaker's awful. So I couldn't hear her. She couldn't understand me. So strict carnivore is just beef, salt. That's it. Nothing else. Then there's different levels of carnivore. Then there's carnivore where you can eat any meat of any animal plus eggs. And some people say, and dairy, like anything that, byproducts. Of dairy is a byproduct. And some people say no. So it's, just, it's all up to you, it's all up to preference. You can have spices and stuff on your, on your uh, steak and all that. You can't have mayonnaise, and uh, unless you make your own mayonnaise, right? So uh, make your own fresh mayonnaise, you could do it. I'm gonna make a, a hollandaise sauce. The only thing I'm missing a hollandaise sauce will be uh, lemon, I think. Hello. Hi there. Is it 15 or? 15. 215. Yeah. Thank you. You too. All right. Got our coffee. Got to plug our phone back in so it's charging. Got to get there quickly before we collide with somebody. Oh, no. Not that high, dude. Oh, I'm so glad. Look at this lineup. I'm not sure if you can see it. There's now 20 cars in the lineup. 
Wow, and more cars coming in. That was the fastest I've gone through. Holy cow, and there's even more cars down here. That's 30 cars at least. Go out, trying to get to the drive through <laughs> And we just walked through that so fast. That's a good thing about when you're behind a lot of people that just want a coffee. No, no sandwiches, they're not buying for seven people in the car. It says coffee, 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 go! They should have, they should have, uh, like at the airport, at an express, um, Tim Hortons for those people who just want a coffee and have it at like main on ramps of highways. So people go, zip, zip, go, get to work, make this economy run properly, help the economy run properly. Anyway, so again, there's different levels of uh, carnivore. So the one thing I, I wish I had not done on that uh, roast and it was the garlic so garlic is an, apparently an inflammatory uh, so I won't be using garlic anymore in any of my cooking um, if I'm doing carnivore stuff let's get onto this highway somehow here we go I think we're safe big truck beside me who's scared about driving beside trucks I'm, I'm cautious, but I'm not scared. Especially when you're like between two trucks. That can spook the crap out of people. Anyway, um, some people will drive beside a truck in the States, I heard. Probably California or wherever it's super hot. And they'll drive beside a truck to get shade. Uh, and you're not supposed to do that. Just to hang beside a truck for shade. So I think, I'm not sure about Dijon. I'll have to look up what Dijon mustard ingredients have in it uh, I don't again I don't think it's important to put Dijon mustard I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that don't use Dijon mustard on their prime rib so uh, that's just Paul's recipe and that's wanted to follow Paul's recipe because I wanted that experience in my mouth again and it was amazing uh, so you could use thyme uh, in a carnivore diet because there's nothing in thyme you're not eating the thyme you're just infusing the meat with that flavor of thyme in your food uh, so I think you can use rosemary thyme there's a bunch of spices a lot of carnivores use um, because they like flavor and they don't want to just just eat beef so again different layers of carnivore I didn't do anything wrong I did I eat anything well maybe I did <laughs> Again, I'm not, I'm not sure if there's any carbs in uh, garlic. And we, we did a whole clove, but I didn't, I mean a whole bud, but I didn't necessarily eat a whole bud. So, or even a clove, whatever. All right, so like I said, uh, thank you very much guys for watching. Make sure if you do carnivore and you have some specific types of meat that you like, I think I had a big long conversation on my, oh, I did a 16 kilometer walk yesterday, like 22,000 um, steps in about two and a half, three hours it took me. And it was just like, go, just go for a big, huge walk, dude. And that's probably what helped me drop another pound, uh, that plus eating carnivore yesterday. So again, leave your ideas for uh, meals that you want us to cook carnivore only uh, please thank you and uh, once again you guys rock you guys are amazing uh, I love mixing it up on my channel and all of a sudden doing something different new and then you guys like YouTube tells me saying wow uh, or nice more subscribers are tuning into this than usual so you know, normal subscribers, I mean, they might not want to watch a vlog every single day, but when you hit them with a, a different strange video, more of your subscribers are notified about that new one, and they're like, oh, I gotta watch that one. What's that all about? So thank you very much, every single one of you guys. Have a great day. I got a lot to do, to, a lot to do today, and uh, I'll try and vlog everything that I can. Talk to you later, bye.